Hi everybody, welcome back to the Tetrix RoboBench video series. This is Tim and today I want to talk to you about some other troubleshooting tips about some common problems that some people have. So there's two of them and the first one is about servos. Sometimes from the factory uh, the, the screw that holds on the plastic servo horn can be in rather tight and some folks have reported the fact that they they can strip that that Phillips head screw out and then they can't get the plastic horn off. And there's a very simple solution. Number one, um, the fact is that we really don't use this plastic horn. We use, uh, we include the aluminum horn that you're going to replace this with. So this really is not necessary. So the easiest way to get that off is to take uh, like either a pair of wire cutters or uh, dikes and basically just uh, cut that in a couple places like so. I'll hold that so you can see it and that should break off just like that and when it does and you just want to trim that away and keep trimming till you get that completely off like that it leaves the head of that screw exposed so then you can just take pliers and carefully get a hold of the screw and actually just back that off with pliers instead of the Phillips head screwdriver and it will come right out. And as long as you haven't um, stripped that head out too bad with that screw, you can go ahead and once you've got it loose, back it the rest of the way out with your regular Phillips head uh, screw driver. Just like so. And that's out and you're ready to put on the metal uh, servo horn and go from there. So that's the way that you go ahead and resolve that issue. The second issue that people have talked about is the fact that uh, sometimes the, the motor hub gets stuck on the shaft. In other words, I've put this motor with the hub and under a lot of load with that screw set screw down tight on the shaft and as it moves slightly, it's actually cut a little bit of a groove on the, the axle shaft and this is now stuck onto uh, the motor. It will not come off even though we've backed off the set screw. So there's a couple things you can do depending on your budget and what you have access to. Uh, one thing you can do that's fairly simple is if, if you have like a Dremel cutoff tool, you can actually just cut a slot in the motor hub if you don't need this hub anymore and it will spread out and you can pull it off that way. The other way to do this is to actually create a little bit of a gear puller. Um, and there's a couple things to remember with this, but basically I, I can use uh, either a, a 40 tooth gear, you could use the two millimeter round spacers, uh, however you want to do that. Uh, if you use the spacers, you probably want to double them up, but this I use the gear because it's fairly thick. And basically what you're going to do is take two of the um, motor clamped uh, bolts, and I'm just going to uh, start those like that on either side of my hub and then I'm going to take a quarter 20 uh, bolt. It's a simple bolt you can get from uh, anywhere, Ace Hardware, Walmart and basically I'm going to put that through the gear just like this. Start that and you see I've got the nut on the bottom side and as I Make sure I've got these bolts into the firmly through the, the axle or the motor shaft hub. You can see then as I begin to tighten this bolt down, the nut backs up against the gear. And as I continue to tighten that, it pushes against the shaft of the uh, motor and it will draw that hub off. Now you want to make sure that you don't obviously uh, pull against anything but the axle shaft because uh, if you jerk on this or pound on it you actually could damage the gearbox and you don't want to do that. So again if you tighten out slowly just like that and the bolt engages against the motor shaft hub, the output shaft on the motor, it will draw that uh, hub past that point where it's galled or scarred and it will come right off from there. 
So that's a good way to, with minimal tools, go ahead and remove those axle motor shaft hubs from scarred motor shafts. And again, that typically happens when we put that under a lot of load and the set screw might not either been tight enough or we put enough load on it that it actually scarred up the axle. But that's a way to salvage both the motors, keep from damaging the motors, and actually um, be able to reuse that um, motor shaft hub. So, hope you found that um, informational and maybe uh, something that you could uh, use to uh, solve some of your problems. Remember, if you've got questions like this, you can always contact um, Pitsco Tetrix Support anytime and they can help you with those kind of things. So again, like we always say, have fun, build some robots, come back and see us.